Hello and good morning, beautiful family. It is, what is today? Get it together, Jen. It's Wednesday, September the 25th, 2024. I hope you guys are well. I also hope you enjoyed the interview with Elisa last night. It was a lot of fun. Her energy is amazing. And so is her music. But I hope you got a blessing out of it. And I hope you also enjoy the roundtable today. Let's get into uh, a little advice for the collective um, using these decks. So let's get started. What can Divine Spirit advise us on today? Hopefully, like yesterday, it said it may start out a little rough. We have to choose what do we want. Do we want a good day, a bad day? I hope you guys had a good day. All right. Mindset is everything. Intention is everything. Let's see what Spirit's going to tell us today. And I did forget a deck yesterday. We need to do a higher self message. So we'll do that as well. But let's start out with tarot. I'm using tarot of dreams again. Just one of my favorites. And uh, Ciro Marchetti does this deck. All right. What does the collective need to know? All right. Queen of Swords, highly intelligent, uses her voice. Wow, a lot of feminine energy in here today. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Okay. No, the we what is this? Well, we have some heartbreak. Somebody not feeling good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Queen of Swords basically represents um, intelligence, wisdom, and let's remember she she's a, a warrior, she but she's fair. She will fight you if she has to, but she would prefer peace. All right, sword in one hand, but angel feathers behind her. All right, so this is intelligence. So we got to use our brains today. Talk about intelligence. We have another queen. Queen of Cups is emotional intelligence, and she's very intuitive. All right, so we need to hone in on some feminine energy today. Not only logic, but our emotions as well. In the past, we have Nine of Pentacles. Now, she's very independent and sovereign, can do everything by herself. All right, also prefers peace. She has the ability to summon what she desires and manifest it. So in the past, it looks like we were doing fine. We knew our inner strength and power. Today's energy for some of you out there is the five of cups. This is about loss, depression. What's going on? We're crying over the cups that have spilled, but we're forgetting about what's going on that's good behind the scenes. Okay, this is, we got to remember to have gratitude for what we still have. If you're going through a loss right now, first of all, I'm very sorry, and it's hard. It's a balance between logic and spirituality, but we need to come out of this. If, if you're in a depression today, if you woke up and you're just not feeling it, first of all, there's nothing wrong with that. But we don't want you to stay that way because the future says heartache, disappointment. If you're feeling bad today, all right, um, we have to try to refocus. Now, if you need a day where you got to pull the covers over your head, fine. That's okay. But tomorrow you're going to get up and you're going to start a new day. So we've got some sad energy today who out there is just not feeling it maybe you're not feeling well at all nine of cups on one hand you have lots of reason to celebrate have gratitude all right this is i'm sitting pretty where i'm at i'm okay i'm making a wish maybe you're making a wish that you're not feeling so bad man i wish i didn't feel like crap today there's another advice card five of pentacles you're not out in the cold 
Okay, you're not feeling left out. Now, this can represent illness as well. These two cards are strong um, about just not feeling good. All right, so if that's you today, we send you healing energy. All right, if you need to take a day and rest, Yeshua actually just reminded me yesterday. He told me, he says, you remember to rest. And I'm like, I don't have time to rest. Who's got time for that? And he goes, for your betterment. And I'm like, well, I mean, he's not lying to me. He's not lying to us. We do need to take some time. Self-care is very important. So if you're not feeling well, we send you healing. A couple clarifying. Wow, lots of messages, information coming in. Divine Creator is going to send you some healing. Good, strong, powerful energy. Yeah, turn to... Turn to God. Turn to Yeshua. Somebody who can come in and help heal you. Okay? These are gifts. And this is power. Take back your power. Ask the Divine Creator with your words for that healing that you need today. All right? I'm so sorry if you're not feeling good. The times we live in. We're up, we're down, we're roller coastering, right? All right, let's get some golden insight cards and see what else we can figure out with this collective. What's going on with those that don't feel good today? What can you give us? And if you're feeling fine, good for you. Good for you. Let's send out that healing energy to brothers and sisters that need it. All right. Golden insight. Three little cards that can help us in our energy. Ooh, disco ball. Ooh, we got a party? What? Butterfly. Turtle comes back in here. All right, disco ball. All right, this is about nightlife. Yeah, maybe you didn't feel good last night. But this is about fun times, parties, social events. All right, so we need to focus. Even if you're not feeling good, you're just down and out, let's focus on, um, you know, the better times. Your mindset is everything, okay? So great advice from Spirit. And we also spiritually send out a disco ball. And these are reflective, so send back that negative energy. It doesn't belong here. We don't accept it. So... We do this sometimes with spiritual cleansing. Totally fine. If you just want a karaoke with it, that's totally fine too. All right, the next one is butterfly. Now this is about transformation. So we're going to transform into not feeling good, into something that's healthy. And possibly um, some of those symptoms that you may be feeling is part of your transformation as we upgrade out of these 3D meat sacks, right? But this is about new beginnings, personal growth. So maybe you're going through some ascension symptoms today and it's just got you feeling, ugh, this stinks. All right? So whether you're just sick because germs happen or you're going through some uh, transforming, that's okay. It's part of it. Not fun, but it is part of it. So take it easy. Mr. Turtle comes back in. He was in here a couple of days ago. Slow moving. Take it easy. Just take it easy. Take some time to rest. Recuperate, regenerate, and let that transformation happen. That's totally okay. All right? All right. Now, one of the cards I forgot to do yesterday, let's get a message from your higher self. As a collective, now all of our higher selves are totally different. So this is just in general. It may resonate and it may not. And that's okay. Now let's see what Divine Spirit can advise us on. All right. Whoop. We'll take you. That's fine. Listen to your body. There you go. Yeah, do what it's asking of you. So if, if your body's crying out today going, mm -mm, we're not doing this, take that sick day that you need. Whether you work or not, you can give yourself a sick day. That's okay. 
Listen to your body. Whatever that means, very important. Okay? That's for everybody. If your body's saying, let's get up and go party with the disco ball, then go do that. But if you need a day, take the day. Get some rest. Recuperate. We send you healing prayers. All right. One more deck. Let's work on our regrowth. Repair. This is evolution and growth. What we can do spiritually as a collective. Once again, this these can be used individually, but today we're doing collective. What can we work on? Protection needed. A shield. Mmm. It's vital at this time to protect your energy field as others may be projecting negative energies onto you. Remember our disco ball, it reflects it back. So it, it, it is a shield in a form, okay? But let's put our boundaries up. You also may need an environment for which you are absorbing negative vibes that are draining you. Yeah, we need to remove that and making you feel down, that five of cups. Call in Archangel Michael for protection and to clear your energy field. Having a practice of grounding and putting a protective bubble around you every day will be helpful. Absolutely. Right now there's a lot of negativity out there. Let's not absorb it. So I'm speaking to my fellow empaths. That is a very hard thing to do sometimes. You want to fix everything. But like I say, we ain't Jesus, right? All right, let's pull three of these and figure out what tokens, what spirit's telling us. One, two, three. All right, let's see what we got. Number 105. Is this a fairy or an angel? I think it's an angel. We'll look it up. 105. Any of you that were looking for numbers. Number 57 is a cactus. Ugh. 132, little black kitty cat. All right, so let's see what these are. 105, I do believe, is an angel. No, I have not memorized these yet because there's only 144 of them. Okay, so this is your guardian angel. This is um, heavenly protection. That's right, so... Call in Archangel Michael, like it said. And if you need healing, call in Raphael. Raphael is our healer, and he will absolutely get you healed. And Michael will put a perimeter around you to make sure that those negative energy forces stay out. You are divinely protected. All you got to do is ask. Okay? All right, number 57 was that cactus. Something's a little prickly and sticky, huh? All right. So this is standoff attitude, resilient nature. Okay, well, that's a boundary. Get your cactus fur out, right? That means that nothing's going to touch you, all right? But this is also resilience, okay? So whatever's keeping you down today, if you're not feeling good, you have your own self-defense mechanisms. Put them in there. It's a boundary. That's not a problem. All right, and our final little token today is number 132, that black kitty cat. I don't think we're referring to Halloween or my kitty Liren. All right, 132 is mystery and magic, good or bad luck, superstition. It can also mean anarchy. Well, let's, we're not hoping for that. All right, mystery and magic, good or bad luck. So we have prayers, good energy, and vibrations. We don't need luck. All right. Don't be superstitious. Some stuff happens. It's karma. We get it. But let's think positive. All right. Let's think for the good luck, not the bad luck. All right. Put your boundaries up. And uh, re just remember to ask those angels to come in. Yeshua will heal you. Michael will protect you. Well, Yeshua can do it all. So whatever you need today ask for it. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to get up and do a little dance to ask for these things. Simply say it in your mind. You can pray. 
believe me, Yeshua was telepathic. He can hear your thoughts. The devil cannot. So say a prayer. And I'll do that for you. Yeshua, we ask you to come in and bless this beautiful community, this collective. And if they're feeling bad and things just aren't going well for them, will you please put a divine protection around them and help heal whatever ails them? And we declare this in your holy name so it is and so let it be all right all right guys i'm sorry if you're not feeling good and if you are feeling great go out and party under the disco ball sounds good to me all right i will see you guys later on the round table and until then blessings blessings remember god loves you and so do i <laughs>